Right, let's get on with the final installation of the Easter Breeze i1500. We've got the blades and the face plates, we've got the tail fin, we've got the cone, and then we've got the uh, uh, turbine itself on the mounting plate. So I'll have a quick look at the mounting plate, see how that's going to get connected, and then we'll get it all installed on the end of the mast. So as you can see, the Easter Breeze turbine uh, is mounted on a 4mm uh, steel plate and uh, wires coming through a grommet to try and avoid chafing. Uh, I've just extended them slightly and we'll wrap those up in a minute. Um, this Easter Breeze is already incorporating a slip ring inside the, the shaft so uh, these particular wires won't turn. Uh, on some of the Chinese models uh, these wires uh, don't have a slip ring inside and you have to put a slip ring here to ensure you don't get any twisting but this model it incorporates it so that's an, an added benefit um, so all, the, all we're going to do now is with the slight spacers to give a bit of a gap uh, we're going to get this installed on the end of the mast and connect up the electrical connections okay now we've added the uh, Easter Breeze to the mast got the end plate got the M12 bolts uh, securing on three of those um, the two uh, wires are connected here. I've just used uh, uh, the sold, uh, those sort of uh, soldering connections that uh, allow a pretty good solid connection in there. And uh, we've just put the 27 mil retaining bolt in to hold the end plate to the turbine. Um, only one thing I've had to change from the Easter Breeze design, as you can see, the, uh, the tail fin's in the right orientation to the uh, turbine but unfortunately Easter Breeze put the bolts in here and uh, it's in the, the actual bolt on the uh, shaft underneath from the, from the turbine is in this orientation and much closer so um, not ideal because uh, you'd have preferred the internal shaft position from the turbine to be up to, up to be up about there uh, but that should be fine uh, it's pretty pretty secure I don't think that'll come off so there it is that's the whole thing installed and what we'll do now is we'll raise it up on the uh, on the mast first stage uh, winch uh, now begins uh, a good five minutes of quite heavy work Yeah, still going. Still more to go. So now, uh, pull it up in the vertical position off the first stage of the winch. Uh, the only thing I have to do on this particular mast is make sure you've got the locking mechanism in place. So this, this piece here locks the base of this in and then we'll just use a manual ratchet which is now securing this and the mast just in case you get some strong winds you don't want the mast moving um i mean it shouldn't do because it's on the wires but uh, just to avoid any issues can also lock this off and uh, put it to a, a sort of fixing point in the ground if i wanted to but uh, i don't think we need to Next stage is the uh, secondary winch. This lifts the three stages in uh, in sequence. Well, actually, they're all together, but uh, they lift them up, lift them all up. Yeah, you guessed it. More winching. So I've just used a laser measure. Uh, well, around about here. So there's about another 0.5 of a meter to add. But we're up at 12.1 so let's call that 12.6 uh, meters from the base to the turbine generator uh, i'm going to leave it like that for the time being i think it's above the tree line uh not maybe not sufficiently to avoid all the turbulence from the the southeast and easterlies but enough to uh, at least so let's get the easter breeze testing working seeing if it's uh, producing anything i can always raise it high after that 